money realizes that it is in good hands, it wants to stay and multiply in those hands. This saying can be best explained with the recent news that was in the headline that said that India SEBI bars ex-billionaire Anil Ambani from capital market. Why did this happen? How did the ex-billionaire Anil Ambani get bankrupt and his brother Mukesh Ambani became one of the richest men in Asia? There is always a comparison between these two because after the death of their father Dhirubhai without a will, disputes had started to take place. That is when their mother Kokila Ben stepped in and resolved the issue by splitting the family business. Mukesh got control of oil, gas, petrochemical, refining and manufacturing. On the other hand, Anil got electricity, telecom and financial services. Their journey began with an equal share in the business opportunity. Then you must be thinking, where did Anil go wrong? Let me simplify it for you. Imagine someone gave you 10,000 rupees and instead of growing and employing that money in the right place, you just enjoy spending the money. One day, those 10,000 rupees will get over. Now, what will you do? You spent all the money and didn't grow it. What other option do you have? You take a loan to sustain it. But for how long can you let the loans pile up? Doesn't sound practical, right? This is how Anil got bankrupt. His bankruptcy is a result of lawsuits, failed deals and companies being mismanaged. In a nutshell, the one business that Anil took control of, that is Rcom, Reliance Communication, could not keep up with the growing telecom industry. In order to keep up with the pace, loans were made and price wars emerged amongst them. That's when debt piled up, which led to Rcom filing for bankruptcy. Further, in the span of one year, the combined total capitalization of six companies that were under control of Anil dropped half of his value. This was the time he declared himself bankrupt. On the other hand, Mukesh, with his aggressive business strategies, made his way through the market. Mukesh entered the telecom sector with a bang, sparking a war in India's majorly competitive telecom market with the launch of 4G service Jio. Mukesh attracted some of the biggest investors like Facebook, KKR and Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund. They wanted to be a part of it. Jio had 340 million customers after he offered free domestic calls and impressively cheap data services. And this is how he became an instant leader of the market. Getting the money was not the hard part here. Maintaining and growing what they already had and making the most of it was the most important part. This is a lesson that we all need to take from this real life example. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed telling it to you. If so, go ahead and type in the comment box your opinion about why the difference between Mukesh and Anil Ambani. Why did Anil Ambani file for bankruptcy? I would like to hear your views.